Okay, good morning. Like Bernard said, I'm pretty sure you know our names, but if you don't, I'm Jade and this is Lee. And Lee and I wanted to show you a picture. So can we get the one on the big one as well, if it's up? Yes, that's it. Okay. So this is a barn and farm animals normally live in a barn. So put up your hand if you can think of a farm animal. Okay, Millie. A cow, great. Alice? A horse? Bridie? A pig, great. Sage? A chicken. A chicken, great. Okay, pop your hands down. We've got lots, don't we? We've got horses, pigs, cows, goats, all sorts of stuff. Now what I want you to do is have a look at this barn and imagine all those farm animals we just talked about living in this barn, doing things that animals like to do best, which is mainly do poops. Okay? So, put up your hand if you think this place is going to get pretty muddy and pretty yucky very quickly. Okay, put your hands down. On the count of three, I want you to say, eh, squelchy. Okay? One, two, three, eh, squelchy. Okay, so put up your hand if you think this barn is going to get very stinky. Yes, put your hands down. On the count of three, I want you to hold your nose and say, pee you. All right? One, two, three, pee you. So what it sounds like you're saying is that this place doesn't look like very much. It doesn't look very special or glorious. It doesn't look like a place for a king. In the part of the book of Haggai that we're looking at today, that's what God's people thought about the temple they were building. We'll show the next picture. It just looked like this. It just looked like rubble. It didn't look very special or glorious. And God knew his people were thinking that. So he sent Haggai to say, even though this doesn't look special, I'm still with you and to be strong and I'm going to use things like this to do amazing things in the future. And this is such a good reminder for us because sometimes when we're doing things that build God's house, it doesn't feel very special or important. So put up your hand if you can tell me something you did this week that Mr Bailey might have mentioned in last kids talk that helped build God's house. Maybe? Yeah, so you might have had some friends over so you can get to know them and tell them about Jesus. Yes, Sage? Great. Reading the Bible. Was that your one too, Elsa? Yeah. Fred, what did you do? Yeah, we went to play group so that we could meet people and tell them about Jesus as well. So that's so great to hear you guys doing those things. And sometimes when you're doing them, you might feel like they're not very special at the moment, honey, or important, but you can use this part of Haggai to remember that God is with you while you're doing it and he's using that stuff to bring amazing things in the future. And guess what? That stinky barn that we were talking about earlier is the same kind of place that God used to bring Jesus into the world. Now, it wasn't quite like this. It looked more like the next picture, okay? But this stable, is it up yet? Still doesn't look very glorious. It doesn't look like a place for a king. But this is where Jesus was born, a place like this. And Jesus is the most special, amazing, glorious thing we could imagine because he brings us true peace. Okay, how great is God? Yeah. So Lee's going to pray and once she's finished, you guys can grab your kids' sheets and your pencils and head back to your seats. Uh, Oh, yeah, I'll give you this. Uh, Dear God, thank you that we can all be here together to hear your word and thank you that you do what you promise. Help us to remember your promises that we are talking about today in the book of Haggai and that you will always be with us. You make us strong and you are using things that don't look so special for your glory. Amen. Amen.